Hi, Scott Grove here. I got a vacuum bagging trick uh, for you. This is um, a compound curve uh, project I'm working on. In this particular case, I can't put, uh, this is just a prototype, can't put the whole reception desk in a vacuum bag. So by using uh, sealing tape, this is a vacuum sealing tape. It's just like a double-sided butyl tape. Uh, sort of put that around uh, the tire and perimeter, put my poly on top of that, that will create a seal and I can draw this in. I, I have the vacuum off right now so you can hear me talking. Uh, the issue here is you have, then have to try to sort of find your leaks and you can use the, the tape to kind of get these uh, sort of folded corners. That works, but sometimes a little, little pinhole gets around. So the better thing to do is just painter's caulk. The cheapest painter's caulk you can get, you squirt that in there, it, it will uh, get into any gaps. Actually, the, vacu the vacuum will sort of seal it in and, and sort of self-seal it. That works great. A little messy, but it's all disposable. But still, if you're tracking leaks, how do you do that? You can kind of try to listen for it, uh, but usually have the vacuum pump running, and if it's not sealing, it's going to continually run. So they make a uh, leak detector. What you do is you put these on, you press the button, and you kind of go around and it will uh, change the pitch that you're listening to to find the leaks. So this is a great thing. I'll put a, a link down below. And as a side note, what was very interesting about this is I kind of anticipated, but still got to work some bugs out. This is bendy ply on the inside here. And I was checking for leaks all around, but I was still only pull, pulling about 10 inches of vacuum. So I, I knew there was a leak somewhere and I, and I couldn't find it. And then I held my... Um, detector right in the middle and it, it went off and I was looking for pinholes in the bag and, and they weren't there. There was one here that I found but uh, couldn't find it here and uh, suddenly realized that one this will de <coughs> detect the leak sort of through the bag meaning the leak is on the other side. The leak is these staple holes that have been stapled and going through uh, and missed uh, a, a rib on the other side, so I actually have a hole through the surface. Now, I thought it might lose some uh, some pressure sucking through the bendy ply, so I actually sealed that first with a little PVA glue, but clearly didn't get enough to uh, get that nail hole. So I'll turn the pump on and, and just kind of show you what this is about, but... Uh, Great thing if you do a lot of vacuum bagging, either compound or just general vacuum bagging, and you always have that annoying little leak that you don't know where it is, well worth the money, pays for itself, uh, it just saves you time to locate uh, the leak. So, great thing. Let's fire this thing up and I'll, I'll sort of show you. Uh, there'll be a light that goes on. Maybe I can uh, put this headphone up to the uh, phone and you can hear what the sound sounds like. It's kind of a Geiger counter. In fact, it sounds just like a Geiger counter, actually. So it's a uh, clicking, and then when you fear a leak, it's a high, very fast clicking sound. So uh, unless uh, we got a radiation leak around here, I don't think so. So I think that's probably it. Let's turn the pump on. So you can see it's sucked in, but it's it, on dial there. It's only 10 inches mercury, so I'm not uh, not satisfied with that. I want to be at least 15, if not 20, to really compress this in. So all good here. See the light going off? All right. There you go, all fixed. 20 inches, good to go. Let's lay this baby up. There it is. Hopefully you guys can appreciate what's going on here at compound curve thanks for watching remember to subscribe like share and all the above appreciate it